Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a helicopter in Trailmakers. So let's get started. Alright, so I like to always start off with a seat. Um, I think the go-kart seat is good just because it's small and I could fit it in really small places. So let's go ahead and go over here. Um, of course, this is not going to look like your everyday helicopter because we're in Trailmakers. So I'm going to make it look as cool as I possibly can. but. Uh, you know, you could disagree if you don't like the look. So, <laughs> uh, hopefully this video does help and uh, it does give you a little bit of a reference idea on what you're supposed to do when building a helicopter in this game. So, uh, helicopters in this game can be pretty tricky, but it's definitely well worth it when you learn how to do it because, uh, of course, the second that you learn how to do something like this um, is when you just keep making something over and over and over again. And that's me! So, <laughs> if you guys want to follow along that would probably work best but if not just take uh, some inspiration from this video hopefully it helps you so let's go ahead and scoot that forward like that there we go and then where is that angled piece i think there's a double here it is what is that uh yeah two by two by two there we go and then a one by two perfect oh that's gonna we got some some not good things happening right there. So, we put a block. Okay, a block can fit there. Perfect. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, so now to keep that uh, sharp angle in the front, I gotta do it on the bottom as well. So, we go like that. That's perfect. And then we're gonna have to scoot that down because we won't be able to put anything here. So, let's scoot that seat down. It should work out. Um, I'm sure I can cover it if we put some more blocks. Something like that. There we go. Yeah, that works perfect. Very cool. And then eventually I want to do landing gear. So that looks like a good spot for that. So I'm going to just leave that there for now because I feel like we're going to need it. <laughs> and I don't want to forget about these pipe pieces. They really do make everything look so much better. So um, also weight. For helicopters, you have to have weight. Like absolutely have to have so much weight in the front, um, which I mean, it's hard, like I said in the beginning of the video, to get something like a helicopter to fly very consistently. Um, but once you know how to do it, it's so satisfying. So um, that's the cool part about this game though, you know? It's very realistic and in real life helicopters, I don't even think we really know how good that some engineers are in this game, or in real life, trying to make these weird things that have a spinning top fly. So. Uh, props to those guys. No pun intended. But, okay. So, I got that. Let's go ahead and move some more landing gear back. That looks about good. Now, I think what I'm gonna have to do... I wanna give it that helicopter shape still though. Even though everything's very sharp on here, I do like that look, so I'm going for that. But, the downside with that is, you know, not making it look like a chunky helicopter. I want it to look sleek sharp and work really good so uh and of course not be heavy either because yeah helicopters i mean the blades are strong in here but they're hard to, to just keep this thing upright so now that we got that let's go ahead and flip actually yeah let's scoot that over so if you guys don't know why i'm putting helicopter engines in here it's actually because they spin, of course, and uh, when they spin, they give you that forwards, you know, that tilt. So you can, you know, lean it forward and lean it backwards. So um, we're gonna mess with the controls afterwards, but let's just add what we need to add right there for now. So scoot that in right there. So we have turning as well, not just tilt. And let's get the powerful ones here and put that on top as well so we have two now the reason why i'm putting two helicopter engines on the top is because uh one when it's spinning around it's gonna almost force your helicopter to start spinning in one direction so what we want to do is have two and if they're both going in different directions it's going to counteract that that weight that's just spinning in one direction so that works good now let's go ahead and add the vertical stabilizers here just like that now with my helicopters, what I've noticed is putting one of the small wings on here, just one of these ones, uh, it actually helps, which is weird because wings in this game do provide lift, 
but if you put one of these little sharp guys on the end, like a small vertical stabilizer, but on its side, it almost counteracts that and it makes it fly surprisingly really, really well. So um, helicopters, I, I encourage you to use that back tail fin like that. So, and of course, vertical stabilizers because uh, yeah, you don't want your helicopter to be fishtailing as you're trying to fly through the air in a straight line. It's just not a good mix. So, uh, okay, now that we got that, let's go ahead and add this little bent piece here for the landing gear, just like that. And then I'm gonna get this T-pipe. There we go. Okay, very cool, very cool. It's starting to look a lot like a helicopter now, so I'm happy about that. And if you guys are following along, you can always slow down the video and speed it up. <laughs> Sorry if I'm going a little bit too fast here, but if we go ahead and flip it like that, there we go. Okay, cool. So every helicopter, at least in cartoons and everything, has these little, these little bent pieces on the end. So I have to do that. I have to, it's just a must. So the vibe that this helicopter is giving me is a military helicopter. It looks like one of those drone like remote control helicopters, it looks so cool. So that looks really awesome. But of course, it's not a helicopter if we don't have the blades. So the way that I like to do the blades on mine is if I go like that, and instead of putting it all the way on, I put it halfway, just like that. Just like that, copy it. And then uh, if we highlight this, then it gets all four of them. We do it to the other side. So just like that. Now the bottom one, with helicopters, I just like maxing it out all the way. So, uh, highly recommend maxing it out at first. And then later on, you can, you can, uh, you know, go back and lower it if you'd like. But, you know, helicopters are heavy. So, I mean, at least in this game, I really try and add more blades and more everything most of the time. But, you know. Uh, okay, so the bottom one was positive 10, and then we're gonna change the, the upward force to go up to space, and then we're just gonna go ahead and take off the downward force. And then with this one, also space, but then we're gonna do uh, X on there as well. But instead of just 10, like this one, we're gonna do negative 10. So just drag the bar all the way down that way. Now, I think it's good, but we got to test out the stuff. So leaning forward. Okay, so everything's countering each other. So. First off, let's start with the steering. So let's do A and D like that and make sure that the turning is working. There we go. Okay, so there's left and then there's right. So perfect, we got the turning. Now with this, uh, we're just gonna have to mess around with it. So I think if we change this one here to S and then W, the opposite of this, uh, the opposite of this one, then it will tilt us forward. So let's see. Okay, yeah, so that's forward, all right. We should be able to test it now, now that we've done all the little critiquing and all the little balancing and everything like that. So every helicopter, if it, if you know it's going to fly good in this game, it's going to tilt forward as soon as you take off. So uh, that's just a little tip for you. So, so far, this thing's flying great. Uh, surprisingly, really great. I don't think I really need to do much, but if I want to go forward, I just lean forward by clicking W. And of course, right now I'm holding down the space bar. But if I just kind of want to glide out, you know, just like this. I can do that. Oh, okay, there we go. Okay, so I guess let's just do some stunts with it, but before that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it up. So, um, I'll be right back. All right, guys, it is all painted up. As you can see, the landing gear is gray. The whole thing is still blue and with little uh, black accents here and then the glass as well. So the glass in the game looks so much better. Oh, wait, 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 one second. I gotta fix something. Gotta take off all those little nubs. And then uh, this guy here, we gotta turn it back into glass. Where did that go? Uh, this and then glass. There we go. Now, if you're wondering how I got this little top piece here, I just did uh, I just did the new decals update stuff on there. So that's how I get that little half half glass, half uh, roof on there. So let's go ahead and test it out. Let's do some stunts. Let's try this thing out. So if we go ahead and take off just like that, look at that, man. Look at it. We're going. We're taking off. It is so 
it is so controllable, you know? Uh, just for a video, I feel like usually I spend a lot more time on something, um, but this I really didn't spend much time and it flies so good. Like, like really, really, really good. So let's go ahead and go through this ring here. Come on, we'll make it. Oh, we'll make it, easy, easy, no problem at all. Now, the cool thing about having a helicopter compared to a plane, a plane is still cool in this game, but a helicopter, you can do so many stunts with it. If you put these little, you know, the little gyros on the side that are making, that are spinning. Now we can do backflips, so let's go ahead and try a backflip like that. A plane, you can do backflips, but this just looks so much cooler. Come on, can we go through this ring? Let's try that. Come on. Please, please, please. Yes, okay, okay, we made it, we made it. Okay, so we gotta go through the little the little uh, loop-de-loop, backflip, whatever this thing is called, the little Hot Wheels track thing over here. So let's go, oh man, oh man. I tilted way too hard. Come on, we got this, we got this, we got this. Look at that! That was, that was my fault, uh, why we almost crashed there. That was definitely my fault, for sure. But, we did a backflip. It looks way cooler than when a plane does a backflip. No offense to airplanes, but you know. We could do front flips. I, planes don't look cool when they do front flips, man. They just look like they're about to crash every time, but I don't know, man. Helicopters are pretty cool. I recommend more people building some helicopters in this game, dude. This looks so cool. I mean, really, like really, really cool. I like the sharp angles on it. I like everything. I actually forgot a block on the inside there, as you can see, but it's okay. It doesn't make it not fly. It just doesn't look as good. It's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. If we drop down here without hitting anything. Oh my goodness. All right. You guys have to follow follow this build for sure. This thing flies way too good, man. Way too good. Okay. The whole wings in the back with the vertical stabilizers on their side, the little small ones, it makes it so good. It makes it so good, man. Okay. So... Uh, yeah. I mean, we can also spin, just doing these little tilted turns like this, and then if we also pull back, we got a sharp angle on turning. That is for sure. I feel like if I put some guns on this thing, dude, this thing would be the best, like, fighter aircraft for sure, hands down. This is so cool. So, yeah. I mean, jeez. I hope you guys like this video. I mean, I'm having so much fun with this thing, dude. I mean... It has really good handling, so I hope that you guys upload your helicopters on the Steam Workshop. I think I'm going to do a video where I look through more people's Steam Workshop stuff. Um, and I hope to see helicopters, because I feel like helicopters are a little bit hard to understand, but I mean, I'm sure there's people who made insane ones on the Steam Workshop. So I'm probably going to take a look at that, but if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to keep flying around this helicopter, but I will see you guys in the next one. Later.